Thank you for checking out this trailer movie review. Uh, so yeah, let's dig into the um, Child's Play 2019 trailer. So this movie, uh, real quick, people, go ahead, put your comments down there. What are you thinking on this? Did you see it? If you didn't see it, before I start talking about it, watch it, pause this, go watch it, and then come back to it, and you can hear all my feelings on the 2019 Chucky, uh, or Child's Play. So, first off, uh, I actually think this looks good. I think the atmosphere looks really good with it. It looks nice and dark. I like how there it, it appears that there's a really good update to the character of Chucky and to the situation of Chucky to be in the current times we're in right now. So there's a digital component where it looks like he can kind of connect to electronics, which is interesting because then that's going to give him powers outside of the doll, basically, uh, which has a lot of possibility not just to, you know, create more dangerous situations, but to actually create more situations for inventive kills so the kills could be more grandiose, could be a lot more fun. Uh, but from what it looks like in the trailer, you're also going to get some kills from the actual doll himself. And he will be showing up because uh, he does show up in the actual trailer. So those things all seem really good to me. Um, when I'm doing this review, I feel like I really have to tell everyone that I've only watched the first Child's Play. I do plan on watching the other ones. That's one thing I just haven't gotten to. It's kind of like the Leprechaun series. I've only seen the first Leprechaun. I haven't gone any further. But from what I understand, Child Play is a different. Uh, Child's Play is different because those films are actually pretty solid. And after the first Leprechaun film, it gets rough. I, I mean, heck, the uh, hell the, uh, the the first Leprechaun one is is kind of rough. So uh, I will be checking those out. But that said, so. Aubrey Plaza is in this. I know a lot of people know Aubrey Plaza mainly just from um, Parks and Rec, which she does a really good job in. So I'm very interested to see what her role ends up being, well, how her role ends up being in this and what her acting ability is like for a horror film. Honestly, I think she's a good actress. She was also in Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. I saw her in that a little bit. She was the voice of Grumpy Cat in the Grumpy Cat movie. Yes, that exists. It was like a Lifetime movie or something like that. Watch it with my wife one Christmas. It is Christmas related. Um, but no, I think she probably has the chops to be kind of a scream queen. So um, we'll see. I have high hopes for that. The other big thing, very, very controversial. Uh, I know people were upset that Brad Dorif was not going to be asked to come back to be the voice of Chucky. Um, actually, I don't know if he was or was not asked to, but he is not the voice of Chucky in this. Mark Hamill actually is. So you hear a little bit of the voice at the very end of the trailer. I don't think it's really enough for me to 100% formulate an opinion on how the voice is, voicing is going to be, but I trust Mark Hamill. And it's not just because I'm a Star Wars fan. I do really like Star Wars, although I've grown, grown a little tired of all the newer Star Wars stuff, but... Um, I've heard some of his voice acting, uh, most particularly, if people know his voice acting, they know him probably most for doing his version of the Joker for Batman animations, and he did an excellent, excellent job with those. So I don't feel like Chucky is that far off from the Joker, so it's got to be good. And from that little snippet I heard at the end of the trailer, it sounds really good to me, so I'm actually excited. Uh, and that little snippet at the end sounded... Um, pretty close to the, the original Chucky voice, but also kind of like creepier, which is a good thing. It's a great thing. So I feel like overall with this trailer, the atmosphere is what sucked me in the most. Um, obviously I've talked about, you know, I'm excited to see Audrey Plaza. I'm excited to hear the Mark Hamill stuff, but the atmosphere looks so good. It looks like it's really well directed. Now the, the person who wrote the screenplay for this and the person who directed this are relative unknowns. Um, the guy who wrote the script, literally his only like real credit is like writing stuff for a video game. I think it's Sleeping Dogs or something like that. But um, his name is Tyler Burton Smith. Obviously, this is based off the characters from Don Mancini, um, who did a good job. And uh, the director is Lars Klevberg, who when I looked at his IMDb page, he has a bunch of very unknown horror things but the good thing is at least he's done something at least it was in horror but this i mean the trailer it just looks good so i'm very optimistic um maybe it's gonna come back to bite me but i do feel very optimistic about this but anyway 
that's just my opinion on this. I'd like to hear what other people have to say. Are you mad that it's not Brad Dorf being Chucky? Uh, did you think the trailer didn't look so good? Or did you think it looks great and you think everything's going to be awesome? Uh, did you like how it looks like they updated it for 2019? You know, tying it into technology and everything. I personally like that, but what do you think? Uh, go ahead, please hit the subscribe for me. It takes you like no time. And if you like anything that I do, pay me back by just giving me that subscribe. doesn't cost you any money. It costs you one second of your time. Uh, comments down there if you want to. You can do a thumbs up. But thank you so much for checking this out. Uh, spread the word. And until next time, keep it brutal.